Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be painting the Mona Lisa. Now if you guys follow me on Patreon, you get early access to this so you'd see this before everyone else. If you want to follow me on Patreon, it's www.patreon.com slash jbrooks and yeah, like I said, you get early access to all my videos and also I've got my art store up. Uh, you can check it out, the link will be in the bio because it's too long to know. I don't even know the domain for it so... So I did a little video of bits and pieces of me, of the process um, of painting the Mona Lisa and I did it in a bit of a different style. I did this painting last year but it was in black and grey and um, at the end of the video you can see the comparison from last year to this year. Last year I was in acrylics and um, this year I'm trying oils. It's, I started oil painting four months ago and um, I'm still just trying to get the hang of it and uh, learning you know, how to do it properly. I'm pretty much teaching myself so yeah, let's just uh, get right into it and see the process and play. Uh, look, you can see I was shaking my hands out. Guys, I, for an artist, I do not have steady hands at all. It's probably because I drink like 100 coffees a day. And um, also, I forgot to... Um, I accidentally deleted the recordings of me drawing it out first instead of going straight for the outlining. <clears throat> which is shattering because I want people to see like uh, how it's all done freestyle and it's not done so accurately. It's just a rough, um, um, I'm just roughly putting out the areas of the outlines. Like I'm not putting much detail in it at all whatsoever. I'm gonna press play. So yeah, my hands are very shaky because of how much coffee I drink. Like it's really bad. And this is a fun part, um, putting in the, um, all the brown it's fun because it's just relaxing there's like something so satisfying about just filling out a canvas um so the reason i do uh, put out the brown is so that i'm not painting on direct white of the canvas um you can see your colors much better when there's a darker undertone and also if you miss spots it's like it's covered by the acrylic paint but yeah guys make sure you do that it's really helpful and i always start with the light colors i'm pretty sure you, like most Oh no, a lot of artists start with the darker colors and then work their way to light, but I always start with the lighter colors for some reason. And the eyeball, the eyeballs, you always want to make sure it's not just plain white because no eyeballs are plain white, unless you're doing cartooning, of course. Um, shit, the camera is a bit unfocused there. It's not good. But yeah, see, I'll start with the light, then I always go over to the dark. I don't think there's any conventional way to do it um, as long as it looks good at the end, which uh, by the end it looks all right. Like maybe I've got to start doing it the other way, who knows? But yeah, guys, there's not much um, detail drawn whatsoever. You're just painting on the details. Um, this is the fun part, just adding black in it like gives an illusion that you've put a lot of effort into detailing, but really, it's just something so simple. You use white lines and contrast it with uh, dark lines and it looks like there's creases. It's magic, you know. See, it's just like little lines that suggest creases, but not much detail at all. But I've got to admit, um, this part, the creases in this part of the um, outfit she's wearing, I don't think look too good. Uh, the end results didn't look uh, that good at all having fun with the black part here this is just fun part where you're just relaxing you not much detail now the hands guys i made the um Mona Lisa with a yellow tint to it because the original does have a yellow tint to it not because um leonardo da vinci did that on purpose it's because of the varnish over the hundreds of years that it's settled onto the canvas it's turned it into a yellowish tint which has its iconic look about it now and like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing, especially with uh, skin colors and stuff. I'm just, I'm just winging it. Like I have no idea. I still got so much to learn. Uh, this watch I did probably looked the like worst part about this painting. Now I'm doing the sky, like uh, Bob Ross says, just slap it on. Happy accident. And see the these rocks here. You just like do a little, a little pattern to suggest the rocks. There's not much detailing at all. And now that I'm having fun with the background, um, I'm not good at like landscapes and shit. So I'm just trying my best. Like there's not, no pressure to make it look amazing because it is my Mona Lisa. I'm not trying to get it exactly the same. And there we go. There's the final result. 
um yeah it came out all right like like i said i only started oil painting four months ago so i'm still learning but i'm pretty happy with the results and yeah it's got my style to it which is pretty cute i don't like the way the um light reflects off the oil paints and here's the final result after I've taken a picture with the best lighting possible. So there's no like reflection reflections on the canvas. And that's what I did last year in black and gray and acrylics. So as you can see, like my drawing is kind of the same, similar, but I'm just advancing in, you know, learning painting techniques. And that side by side looks pretty cool. I'd say it's a oh, maybe a year, a year and a half apart, but yeah. Guys, let me know what you think of um, of this year compared to last year. Which one you like better? I wouldn't be offended because a lot of people might like the black and gray better. It's more their style with the pop of gold. But right now I'm just loving the oil paints and loving to learn how to uh, do humans and flesh tones, even though this isn't really flesh tones. It's uh, like yellowish. So yeah, guys, if you want early access, remember to follow me on Patreon. It really helps the channel. We make no money on this channel, as you can see by the views, but um, yeah, it just uh, shows a little bit of support. And also, yeah, this is an art channel and this is an art video and art videos don't do well on this channel. So, but I really don't care. I enjoy doing it. And if you guys like seeing it, I'm gonna upload more. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and um, hope you enjoyed the painting and I'm out, bye.